Hi, I'm John Paul Capanegro. Welcome to my DVD series, Revolution. Let me challenge one of the fundamental assumptions and objectives that's too quickly laid out for us within photography. So often we hear that we want to reproduce, or somebody wants to reproduce color the way they remember it. Well, just how good is our memory? Let me talk about that. We all know how subjective, malleable, ephemeral our memory for certain events in our lives can be. Let's talk about just reproducing one or remembering one particular color. Let's take this blue, for example. When was the last time that you looked at a single color, just one color, for 10, 20, 30 seconds? Try and remember this particular color. Now, when I turn it off and give you a wide array of choices, which color was it? We're probably working within a range somewhere in here. It's general. Most of us don't think that it's a very cool green or a magenta. We probably remember some shade of blue. But which one? And as time passes, this challenge is only made more complex. It can be very helpful to use targets visually to be able to compare things side by side is extremely helpful. Then we can come in and match colors by making direct visual comparisons. So this side-by-side -side comparison can be extremely helpful when we're trying to reproduce color more, quote, accurately. But how often do we use targets in situations that may or may not be applicable? Can you possibly remember all of the colors contained in this photograph? with very complex color relationships. So show a color to 12 artists and I guarantee you that they'll come up with 12 slightly different things. One of the things that can help make it easier to remember color is to make records of it. Sometimes we make linguistic records, salmon. Sometimes we could make numeric records. We could use HSL to help us remember those kinds of things and even take notes. Other times we make records of objects like color checkers or gray cards, known values that are reproduced easily because they've been established how they should look under certain lights. But if you use them under ambient conditions and want to reproduce those, say you were out in the golden hours or late or early or even in deep, deep shade or in nocturnal light, those targets are less useful because all of the colors on those targets have been modified by that time or ambient effect. So color and our color memory is somewhat slippery. It's really helpful to use standard targets. It's helpful to be able to communicate things very clearly. You have to put all this together. Remember that the devices we use to record color can't record everything that we can see. And then when we finally edit them on monitors, monitors can't display everything that you capture nor can the printer reproduce everything that the monitor can display. So your color will change. Color management helps you predict exactly how that color will change, but you're going to have to make decisions as to how to enhance the relationships to preserve your memory of it, or perhaps the goal is not reproducing what you remember, but creating a pleasing visual statement.